Claire, um, one of our mates, Mike Eslow, is having a stag do uh, next year. Am I right to go? Wait there a minute, I can't hear you. Did I just hear you right? You said you want to go on a stag do next year? Don't fucking think so. Who stag do? Mike Eslow's. Not a chance. Why not? Claire, I've known Mike Eslow since for about 15 years. It, what's the problem? It's not about the person, you little knobhead. It's about the stag do. Where do you think you're going? I bet it's Magaluf, innit? Magaluf where they all, like, like Magaluf, Shagapuff and all that. They all come back with chlamydia. You're not going to come back and give me that. I think you're forgetting something. I'm married. I'm not even interested in nobody else. So why, why do you have to come up with some crazy, like, accusations like that? Just because I'm going on a stag do doesn't mean that I'm going to be shagging and doesn't mean I'm going to be fucking doing anything. It's just going with mates. Well, I'll tell you what. I want the names who are going. I want the flight details. I want to know what hotel you're staying at. I want to know whereabouts you're staying from the main strip. I want to know how much it's costing, how much spending money you're taking. I want to know everything. And then, and only then, I will actually think about it. But until then, you are not going nowhere, mister. Well, I think you're going to be a little bit disappointed then, because I've already paid my deposit. You what? You've paid the deposit? And you haven't even asked me? You haven't even consoled me? I'm not being funny. In this relationship, Kyle, there is two people. There is me and you. But at the end of the day, you might wear the trousers, but I choose which one you wear, you little muppet. You better get your deposit back then, because I ain't even gone over the information yet, so you're not even going. So you better, you better text him now. I'm fucking so annoyed. Oh, I could kill you. Well, it don't really matter what you say, Claire. At the end of the day, I'm, it's one of my best mates, so I'm going. So you can, you can like it, you can love it, you can do what you want, but... I'm still going, so just kindly stop getting in a little hissy fit and that. Jesus Christ, you're getting worse than Cam Gary, yo. Hey, if he's your best mate, I don't care. End of the day, this is betr- No! I don't go away. I don't go away with the girls. Even though I go to, like, Butlins and that, and go on, like, the 80s and the 90s, like, uh, do's and that. Nothing goes on there. That, it, there's nothing that goes on there. But you always get real, real weird about it. So, no, you're not going, because I know when you go abroad, that's all men think about. The thing with the little head instead of the big head, just like, with the penises. No, no, I, I don't want you to go. Oh, please, just, please don't go. I don't want you to go. Oh, your attitude's changing now. Claire, I'm going, regardless. So, let's not have this conversation anymore, because you're starting to get really boring. End of the day, he came on man, I'm going on his. That's what mates do, mates stick together. You women might like having your own little four or five mates and like being in your little close quarter groups, but... People like us, like us men, we have about a million mates and we always like stay in touch with each other and we always like like socialising with each other. Unfortunately, you women are just a little bit mental. Like, oh, dear, 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 dear. So just, it's up to you. You do what you want to do and I'll do what I want to do. Yeah, but what if you cheat on me? <laughs> I'll never be able to forgive you. Please don't cheat on me. Please. <laughs> Claire, I am not going to cheat. So calm down, don't get upset.